I think there's one thing that all of us can agree on. Kevin, or me, is one of the best YouTubers in the world. <laughs> Hi everyone, Kevin here. Today, I want to show you how you can set up your very own soundboard. With a soundboard, you can click on sounds on your PC or on your phone, and they'll play through your PC's microphone. This way, you can use these sounds and apps like Discord, Fortnite, Zoom, basically any application that lets you use a microphone. All right, let's check this out. To get this soundboard, head to the following website. You can also click on the card up above or the link down below in the description. Once you land on this website, click on the button that says download voice mod for free. Once you finish installing, you'll land in an interface that looks like this. And by default, we land in the voice box tab. Voice mod is also a voice changer. And here you'll see all of these different voices that you can use. But we're interested in how to use the soundboard. Over on the left hand side, let's click into soundboard. This drops us on the soundboard page. Here across the top, you can see all of these different categories of sounds. With the free version, you get a few of these categories, but if you want to unlock all of these different categories, you have to go pro. I'll click into the one titled Prankster. This is one of the categories that you get for free. To play any one of these sounds, you simply click on it. I'll select Rimshot. As it's playing, you'll see this progress bar goes across the icon. This lets you know how much of it has played. Now, it's not really that helpful with such a short clip, but especially with some of these that run a little bit longer, it's really helpful. With one of these sounds selected, over on the right hand side, you have all of the different attributes. Here, you could set the volume, you could adjust the playback mode, and there are a few other settings down here. You can even add a key binding or a shortcut key. So let's say for instance, I wanna press the F12 key and every time I press F12, it'll play that sound. This is especially helpful if, let's say you're playing a game and you don't wanna switch over to the voice mod app, you could simply press your key binding. Here, I'll press F12. And there it plays the sound. There are lots and lots of different sounds available in voice mod. One way to get back to sounds is you simply navigate to the category. Or an even easier way, in the top left-hand corner, you can click on the search icon and you can type in a sound. Here, for example, applause. And when I click on that, it brings me to the proper category and here I see my sound. I'll click on that. We now hear the applause. One way to stop all sounds playing, up here in the top left-hand corner, I'll click on stop sounds and that cuts off all of the sounds. If you have a favorite sound, you can also just add it to your custom soundboard. That way it's even easier to get back to. Let's say, for example, I want this cheer to be on my favorites or on my soundboard. I could right click on it, select duplicate. Over on the left hand side, I'll click into my soundboard and here I see the cheer now. So I can make my own custom collection of sounds that I can quickly access. You can also add your own custom sounds. I'll click on the plus icon. And here I can import in WAV or .mp3 files. Here I have a file called gong.mp3. I'll click on open and that's added it to my soundboard. And just like with any other sound, I could simply click on it and there it'll play my gong sound. With the free version of voice mod, you can add up to five custom sounds. If you want more than that, you have to go pro. Also with pro, you can also add additional categories. You can add any number of categories that you want. Down below, they also have something called the Tuna Sound Library, and here you can access thousands of free sounds. When I click on this, this opens up the website, and here we see various categories for sounds. You could also search for sounds, or down below, you could also view some of the trending sounds. So here you see a whole host of different sounds. You could download the sound, or here, if I just want to bring it directly into voice mod, I simply click on this icon. Here it tells me that I'm now adding a clip. I'll click on add. And here I see the clip in my library. Now that we know how to play sounds, next we're going to look at how you can make sure that the sounds go through your microphone into the app that you're using. We're going to look at Zoom, but this will work in any other app just the same way. Here I am in a Zoom meeting, but once again, it doesn't really matter what app you're in. You just have to go to where you can select your microphone. In Zoom, it happens to be in the bottom left-hand corner. I'll click on this carrot icon. 
And right here, I can see all of the different microphones connected to my computer. Here, make sure to select the one called Voice Mod Virtual Audio Device. This allows your voice to go through as well as all of those different sound effects. So here I can press my shortcut key, F12, and that plays my voice mod sound effect in a Zoom meeting. Next, we're going to look at how you can play these sounds on your PC through your phone. Maybe you're playing a game and the game uses up your full screen. You could use your phone as a companion and when you click on any one of these sounds, it'll play through your PC's microphone. Let's check out how. Back within Voice Mod, in the bottom right hand corner, click on this phone icon. And right here, you'll see a QR code. Open up the photo app on your phone and then aim it at this QR code and this will bring you to either the App Store or the Play Store. Once you finish installing the app, you'll need to connect it to your PC. Click on Connect Now. Click on Allow Camera Access. Allow Local Network Access. And then right here, you can take a picture of the QR code and your phone is now connected to your PC. Now that I've finished installing the app, here I see all these different plus icons and I can now customize my soundboard. When I click on one of these icons, I can add many different elements. Here, for example, I can add just an individual sound or I can add an entire soundboard profile. I'll select that. And here I see all of my different soundboards. I also like the one called My Soundboard. When I click on that here, I'll jump into that category and here I see all of my different sounds. Now when I tap on any one of these, this will trigger the sound on my computer. Voice Mod is a freemium product. With the free version, you get access to a few of the soundboard categories and you can add up to five custom sounds. But if you want more than that, you'll have to go pro and Voice Mod offers a few different options. All right, well, have fun with your new soundboard. Just remember, don't go overboard with it. That could annoy your audience. To watch more videos like this one, please consider subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video. Let's wrap with some music.